Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Creativeverse, where your boy's an idiot and forgot to record. So, as you may have guessed, I forgot to record this entire building session, but I still wanted to put something out. So, welcome to the, the two guided tours of the two new houses in the Citadel. This one was the first build here. I think I went for a more kind of traditional style of build. Heavily inspired by Skyrim I was with the idea, or I think it's actually Oblivion I was going for, with a smaller, like quite pokey small down here. Upstairs quite a nice bedroom. These people are collectors, I thought, you know, they've got all the stuff, they, they've travelled the world, these are their artefacts and things. They're rich enough to have a toilet with a light. The storage is full of things that they don't really need. And when I say don't really need, they have nothing. They have a very nice kitchen, but they don't have a fridge. So let's rectify the situation. You know, we can have fridges. We might as well, really. There we go. Get rid of this. And you know what I'm going to put down there? I'm going to put a brick. So it's quite a nice pokey house. I might add a few bits of something here, actually, because it's quite empty. There, maybe a book, a book, couple of bookshelves or something. I don't quite know, or a chair. Yo, Mr. and Mrs. Gray. That's what they, these guys are. They are very. They're like their, their house to be quite small, minimalistic. Do I add a fireplace? It's tempting. But I like the idea of just having more and more things with what I've done next door. I'm so gutted. I did not record the session. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm actually really gutted. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of this window here. We're going to fill this in. And then we're going to get ourselves a fireplace. Um, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Grey, although yes. You know, they like their, their, their style. They have their style. They also like comfort and warmth. Who doesn't? Everyone should be entitled to a bit of comfort and warmth, I say. Plus, I was quite chuffed with the design I did. So this house is a little bit taller than uh, their neighbours. That's easily, easily said because you know they they're quite rich compared to their neighbours. And there we go, Mr. and Mrs. Gray's house. I will put a dining table down actually. These guys can uh, have their chairs in front of the fire. And risky. It's a risky move, but I'm going to put their bookcases above the fire too. We'll just pretend that they are very, very um, tolerant to heat. <laughs> put these down here too. They have their color palette. It's very bland, but they like it. Okay, okay. So I've shown you their house. And then we go to their next door neighbors, which I'm actually going to color their doors as well. And their windows. They like the, the red. They wanted a bit of colour. But I'm actually all about that. Look at that. The beds I did. Look at me, I'm painting like a pro. Okay, cool. So you've seen Mr. and Mrs. Gray's house. And now... Let's come on over to the... Um, I don't know have a name for this family yet, but if you can think of one, by all means, pop it in. Give us give us a suggestion in the comments if you've got a name. <gasps> the house is a little bit more foreboding than their next door neighbours, for certain. But they do have a cooker and they don't, so you know. They quite liked the idea of... Uh, also, enjoying a bit of pleasant warmth by the fire, sitting to their meals. I paint everything. Oh my gosh, you can. I love it. Although I don't think it really fits with the colour, so... What about if I inverse it? Oh yes. I like that a bit more. That's nicer. 
All right. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling this. Ooh, look at that. So, upstairs. It's a bit more creepy in here. The, the floorboards are creepy, but they have an extensive library of books that they love to read. In here, they have a toilet, but they can't afford a light. So you must do your business in the dark. <laughs> upstairs, the bedroom. A quaint, simple bedroom with two fantastic chests. I feel like I need to change the... Or not. Okay. Okay. What about if I... Uh, this? Will it do it that way then? Hey, it does. Nice. So that's kind of going to be the idea for the, the idea of... And that is the house. That is their next door neighbours. So Mr. and Mrs. Gray. Not sure on their name yet, but I will get round to that, I'm sure. The idea behind all the houses around here, they're quite large compared to the blacksmith over there. Just because of um, if there's a bit more money in this area, what with uh, the location being quite nice. So I thought, you know, let's keep it... Um, let's build some nice affluent houses. They're also all going to be colour-themed as well, I think. So we've got the red, the grey. I don't know what colour next. Maybe blue, green, yellow. Who knows? But nice colourful houses. I'm going to build them all over there as well. Just to extend. Um, so there'll be one more house here. There won't be anything else here because I don't want to obstruct the view here. I want to try and keep this as clean as possible. And then I'll start from the next house from around about here-ish. Or from here, actually. I might go from here and then just kind of make another three to four houses inside. This video would have been a bit longer had I actually hit record. But I'd done so much work, I kind of just wanted to show off what I'd done. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now!